When you save a presentation that contains audio or video, there are a few things to keep in mind to make sure the media works for your audience. To save any presentation, on the File menu, click Save As. Then on the Format pop-up menu, choose the file format you want to use. Unless you have a good reason not to, use the default PPTX format. There's an important reason for this. If you use the older PPT format, audio and video are not saved with the presentation. The latest versions of PowerPoint for Windows, 2010, and PowerPoint for Mac, 2011, as well as the previous version, can open presentations in the default PPTX format. If you're concerned about compatibility with earlier versions of PowerPoint, Click Compatibility Report to check for potential issues. Another popular format for saving a presentation is as a QuickTime Movie. A QuickTime Movie, or .mov file, will play on any Mac as well as any Windows computer that has the free QuickTime player installed. PowerPoint isn't needed to play the movie. However, if you choose the .mov format, any audio in your presentation is not included in the movie. You can, however, click Options and choose an audio file to include as a background soundtrack. From here, you can also set other options, such as the movie frame dimensions and whether or not you want the movie to loop. For more information about the pros and cons of the .mov format, see the Save a Presentation as a Movie File topic in the related content section of this tutorial. So those are the basics of working with audio and video in PowerPoint 2011 presentations. To learn more, such as how to play more than one song during a presentation, check out the related content links and other help and training resources on the Office for Mac website.